Hey everybody, welcome back to Smoky Hill Bonsai and Happy Easter. Today, we're going to be repotting this bald cypress tree. I believe I dug this tree in 2014 and it's been in some sort of training container ever since. Uh, the main reason why I'm going to uh, repot today is because the wooden pot that it's been in the last couple years is uh, broken and it's time to just put it into something different, something more stable. So I've got two choices today. I have a blue glaze ceramic that was gifted to me and I'm gonna see if I can get it in there. Now, I know the tree's not show ready yet. I know it's not ready for um, anything too fancy, but uh, yeah, this obviously isn't gonna be its, its final pot. If it fits in there, I'm gonna put it in there today and uh, start, start training it into the pot. Um, if it doesn't fit, I've got an old plastic pot that I found in the garage. I will put it in there until um, next repotting season, until I can find something a little bit better for it. So uh, with that said, let's see if we can get this thing repotted. So before we pull it out of the container, this is where the container broke. This tree has been in this wooden box that I built a couple years ago. So it's been in for uh, a couple years. Um, some of the things we're gonna look at today is we've got this major root here that's a little bit high on the root plane. So we're gonna see if we can eliminate that. It appears that there's one down here back in the shadow. So we'll explore that, see which one is better, but I'm, I'm hoping it's the bottom one. Uh, here is another root over top of another. Um, one thing I'm not sure I've talked about yet is when we moved into this new house, we brought all the trees over and put them in the backyard and we had so much unpacking and cleaning and you know all the stuff that goes into buying a new home that I set the trees out and uh, didn't monitor them too close. Well that was a mistake because there are a lot of rabbits in this neighborhood and uh, they've done some damage to to the surface roots here and a lot of the other trees have a bunch of the uh, branches chewed off of them and stuff so uh, that's something we have to deal with this spring. So uh, quick, uh, that's the main issue we're gonna work on. Here is an overall look at the tree. And I know it's time to repot the tree because the buds are swelling. And this tree will be leaking about, leaking out about any time. So what I can tell real quick is that the roots have grown out to the edge of the container, but they didn't fill in down here too well yet. And they have, uh, so when I took it apart, all of the soil fell out of it. So we're gonna work on that a little bit. And just for fun, real fast, so I can start thinking. This is the, the container, see it, it's chipped and it's not a, a show ready pot or anything. So I'm gonna use it as a, as a training pot. So let's see, um, I think we may be able to set it in there. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is use my stick here and I'm gonna explore around this root I want to know what's down there. OK, 
Okay, I think I can. I think I can see some roots coming off of it. And this, actually, this root might be dead already. Let's just see what's going on here. Yeah, see that roots. Let's just take that root off. We don't need it. It is, it's dead, so. And then this is the same thing, this root is also dead. So this root where the rabbits chewed, the bottom side of that root is still alive and there's a root coming out of it. So you can see the original cut where we took the taproot off originally. It's pretty soft up in there. Looks like we have plenty of healthy roots here still. I'm not as not as happy with what I'm seeing on the top. But we'll try to trim these back a little bit and see if we can't regenerate all this. So underneath here, I'm looking for roots like this one that are kind of growing straight down. Pop that off. What I'm really looking to do is get this on a flat root plane. So I want these roots to be growing out horizontal. And anything that's kind of growing up or growing down, I'm gonna remove those. clean a lot of dead stuff out. Uh, there's still some live stuff in here. It looks like I see some mycorrhiza. So that'll, that'll hopefully be a benefit. A deciduous conifer. And uh, as with conifers, we don't completely bear root them. So there's a lot of soil kind of up underneath there I'm gonna leave. I got a couple little drainage screens. I'm gonna outfit this container with real quick. So I'm gonna use galvanized fence wire. So I want to measure that out, take my pliers and make a nice clean, clean bend of that. So I got the tie down wires in place and I'll manipulate them around a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is just add an air layer of soil. So I'm just going to put a single layer. So this is going to help keep oxygen in the bottom of the container. Next I'm going to use my standard potting mix and then this I'll just put a single layer real quick on top of the air layer of soil. I'm going to know, I know that I'm going to have to get a bunch of soil up in there. Uh, I'm going to have to get a bunch of soil up underneath here so I'm going to Go ahead and give myself an extra mound there. But at the same time, I'm gonna have to thread this wire through here.
I got this tree secured really nicely in this pot. So the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I've got enough soil back in underneath everything here. Working in there, right there. That took a lot. Okay, so there we are. I got the tree into its new container. I said that I found a lot of dead roots in there. I got those combed out. Um, I think everything that I left in there is alive and hopefully that will help uh, regenerate the tree as we go into the springtime. So I really like this tree. I hope this repotting went well for it. Um, I hope it likes the container and Hopefully this tree has a successful summer. Okay, everybody, happy Easter. Thanks for watching.